pieces on it, so we're going to run through these together. Okay, a pie is cut into six equal pieces. The arc length of one piece of pie is 5.4 centimeters. What is the diameter of the pie? Okay, so our strategy is always to draw a picture. So let's start by drawing a picture of the pie. Now we're assuming it is a circular pie. And six equal pieces. Let's see, cut it in half and then divide that out into six equal pieces. Well, if we have 360 degrees divided into six equal pieces, our central angle is going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what we're working with, 60 degrees. We also know that if it's cut into six equal pieces, each piece represents one sixth of the circle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use that proportion method that we used earlier. Okay, do you remember the proportion method? It works like this. We take the arc length, if we know it, and we put it over the area. I'm sorry, this is not an area problem. It's over circumference because arc is part of the circumference. And then we put our measure of the angle over 360. So let's plug in what we know. We know the arc length from this problem is 5.4. So plug in 5.4. And circumference we don't know. So that's x. And then angle measure, we just decided it was 60 degrees, didn't we? And 360 is the total of the circle. So now you can look at this, and this um, reduces down to 1 sixth because it's 1 sixth of the circle. Now let's do cross products. So we get 1 times x, or just x, and then 6 times 5.4. So I'm just going to grab my calculator and do 6 times 5.4, and I got 32.4. So 32.4 is actually equal to my circumference because x is equal to circumference, right? That was what was here. Now we've got to work backwards to answer the question and find the diameter. Circumference is equal to d times pi, which is 32, so all I did was plug in d times pi, divide both sides by pi, so I'm going to take 32.4 and divide it by second and the exponent key right here, which is my high button, and I get 10.31. So that means my diameter is 10.31. And there we go. And that's how you work that problem backwards. So that would be the diameter of the pi. So if we had to write a sentence, we would say the pi's diameter is 10.31, and that was in centimeters. And that's how you could answer that question in a sentence. Okay.